there folks today is the day and it's a very exciting closing day here for us today because it's our first of 16 Torin modern towns by bickle built a new product line that we've got coming out and uh, this is the first the rest of the units here in this fourplex are still a little bit under construction but the first unit here is complete so we're going to take you in for the full tour today just a few notes on the outside uh, we wanted to go with this modern aesthetic and you'll sort of see that throughout the tour today um, up in here we've done this uh, James Hardy panel system which is a really different look than what we have been doing in the past uh, as well as some really dramatic black brick here with black mortar and then just a simple modern stone um, up in there it's almost like a cinder block look uh, reeded glass here in the front and a bit of a modern door um, of course as usual these uh, homes all these units are energy star certified as is all of our um, homes that we build so anyways we'll take you on inside today and show you around. okay so we just come in through the front door here and I'm just gonna go ahead a little bit and turn around just so we can sort of see the foyer a little bit better one of the things that we did here is just put a little bit of a ceiling feature in with this uh, nice slatted ceiling here a little bit of stained wood up in there just to give the uh, foyer a little bit more of a feature and then of course we've got our uh, modern front door there with the reeded glass for privacy um, so it's a nice kind of bright uh, open space in here and then just beside the front door right here we've just got a bit of a coat closet so you come in the door you've got something to do with your coat um, and then just in beside that we've got a little powder room here for uh, guests pedestal sink um, and uh, yeah the, these end units of course have the window on the outside the middle units don't have that um, so just a bit of a powder room there um, to use on the main floor and then there's a bigger bathroom upstairs so yeah just a nice foyer there and then i'll just flip around here uh, this opening here comes down for the basement stairs and then come through here we've got the garage door through here so you enter the house this way uh, I need a bit of a light here. Here we go. Um, so single car garage here. We've done our easy liner as usual. Uh, belt drive garage door opener. Um, and then we've got a nice kind of contemporary uh, garage door here uh, with glass down the one side. Uh, so lots of room to get a full size vehicle in here still yet um, and keep things a little bit nice through the winter. Um, okay, so this comes into the main area and one of our big goals uh, with the layout here is we wanted to keep it as open as possible everything wide open and, and make it as versatile as possible so starting with the kitchen um, with the design we went with a really simple uh, white slab cabinets here uh, with some nice darker hardware there and then we wanted to do this really cool waterfall uh, keeping with that modern kind of feel of things uh, nice waterfall edge in uh, quartz so it's this nice gray color here and then uh, uh, we've done a single compartment undermount sink here um, to keep all those uh, dishes and, and whatnot to wash all your dishes and then right there we've done a Moen Sleek uh, black matte black faucet um, so a good sized kitchen, lots of room to do all the things that you need to do in here. Of course, that's where uh, the fridge is going to go and then the range here. We've done an over uh, the range microwave as well, which has a full vent, uh, venting to the outside, of course. Um, and then just back in through here, good bit of storage for this walk-in corner pantry. So lots of nice um, shelving in there to keep uh, dry goods and all those kinds of things in there. So um, there's kind of a couple different ways actually that you could set up this space. One would be to put a little bit of a smaller table over here kind of centered on this window. Um, and we've just done pot lights all throughout just to kind of keep it open and allow for movement of furniture and things like that depending on uh, what type of family is going to be moving in here. Um, so that would be option one. Um, option two would be to put a dining room table over here and maybe it extends all the way further along there which would give you this space over here as kind of your living room. Um, but uh, in option one, if you just had the dining room there, well now this whole area becomes living room. Um, and we've 
<coughs> excuse me, we've put in uh, some higher receptacles both there and there uh, for TVs, so it kind of gives you the option. And if uh, you put your TV there, say for example, um, you could just put a piece of uh, artwork or something over that uh, uh, outlet there. Good, no, lots of good natural light. And again, in these end units, um, we've got lots of light coming from the end wall. Of course, in the middle units, you don't get uh, these two windows right here. So still lots of natural light coming from the back. And then we've got a sliding door there. Um, one of the things I wanted to note as well is that we did just to give this space a little bit more of a grand feel. On the main floor we've got uh, eight foot walls, uh, eight foot ceiling and then in this living room area we've sloped the ceiling up so that it's a little higher than nine feet actually at the top of that slope so it just gives it a little bit more of a grand feel there. Not a whole lot to look at the, the backyard today uh, but I did have somebody asking the question so there's uh, the stake that's the property line stake right there and from the back wall of this house uh, to that property stake is about just over 25 feet so if you want to get a sense of the space uh, it's just over 25 feet to that back property line okay we'll take you on upstairs uh, just before we do um, we just wanted to be very very simple and uh, again modern with our design all throughout the house so just a very simple post detail here painted in white the same trim color and then some nice black uh, round spindles there and then just going up with a nice carpeted stair to the second floor of course uh, we've got three bedrooms up here on the second floor um, so we'll show you each one of those so you kind of come up here and I'll just flip around here you've got a little bit of open railing at the top again the end units have a window in the stairwell as well which is kind of nice I should mention too which I didn't downstairs but everything is vinyl plank flooring almost all throughout the house we mentioned the carpet on the stairs already and then over here in the bathroom we have uh, some vinyl uh, mat flooring but this vinyl plank flooring is very very durable and uh, and it looks great it's come a long way over the years so coming in uh, we just enter at the top of the stairs there's kind of like a common area here and then you can come in this is bedroom number two so good size bedroom it's about 10 by 10 a little bit uh, a little bit smaller than 10 by 10 again on the end units you get this nice uh, larger window in this bedroom um, but essentially this is a kids bedroom for the most part and then bedroom number three is about the same size oh and I should mention too both have closets good size closets in them um, and this one has the window that faces out the back so it's just a touch smaller um, but the bedroom itself is about the same size and then we come through right here we've got a linen closet so to keep all your towels and and blankets and all those linens uh, right there it gives you a little space to do that right there and then we did a huge um, bathroom basically a shared bathroom up on the second floor with an absolutely massive uh, floating vanity double sinks um, you can see just down below here it is floating so you can clean all underneath of it and all that good stuff again with the slab kind of gray cabinet style here just keeping with that simple modern look um, and then of course the toilet's just down at the end there and then we've done a, a nice tub shower acrylic tub shower unit here dressed up some of the fixtures just a little bit and it gives you the versatility to have a shower or a bath in the same unit there so a nice uh, good size bathroom and then we come around here uh, master bedrooms just through there but before we go in there um, we've got set up here for a stackable washer and dryer good size closet here uh, to get keep all that laundry up on the second floor of course and then we come through here and the master is really one of the best parts of this whole unit in my opinion um, so we've set it up so that essentially a bed could go right there tons and tons of natural light coming from that front area and then <clears throat> knowing that these would likely be a lot of kind of younger families and things like that we just sort of set aside this little nook area over here with lots of natural light coming in what could you do with that area well we envision uh, uh, you know maybe somebody puts a desk in there and, and uses it as a bit of a home office or if you have a baby around, maybe you put the crib uh, over in that area. Um, or you could just set a couple chairs over there and use it as a reading nook. So it just, everything here looks out towards the front. And uh, it's always nice uh, from a master bedroom perspective to be able to look out over the front 
of your house. And then, of course, with every new house these days, we've got the nice walk-in closet here. Tons of room in this walk-in closet for all those clothes. Um, and yeah, so there is the sort of two floors. And I should mention as well, it's about 1,450, a little over 1,450 square feet total. We'll take you down to the basement and show you the potential down there. Here we go. Okay, so just coming down the stairs, this whole area entering into the basement is all finished out with drywall and I'm walking on carpet here now. And then we kind of come into this unfinished space, um, but there's lots of room for potential still down here as well. We've got two egress windows down here. Again, when you have an end unit, you get the extra window on the end. Uh, in the middle units, you just get the uh, single window uh, there on the back. But this whole area right here, it could be... Um, uh, used for a uh, future bedroom, a future rec room area, uh, lots of different options with this. And with the two egress windows in the end unit, it gives you the ability to potentially finish two additional bedrooms down here. So now you're taking it uh, from three bedrooms to five bedrooms all of a sudden. So that would be a lot. Um, and yeah, and then just around this area, this is the utility room. So of course we've got our condensing uh, hot water heater, which is a rental unit through Vista. Um, we've got a 100 amp panel here. Uh, everything's all legend and organized. And then uh, just here on the end, we've got uh, the water softener, which is included uh, and owned uh, by the customer. And um, yeah, we need that in St. Mary's because we uh, are a cement plant uh, town, a stone town, and we have lime deposit in our water. And then we've got our 96% efficient two-stage furnace right here, uh, which is, of course, pushing air all throughout the house. Um, and then just a gas manifold right there. Now, the last thing here is you come down here towards the front part of the house. And first off, there is some space underneath the stairs in here for storage. We've just left actually some of the uh, leftover flooring there just in case that's needed down the road. And then this front area here, uh, we've roughed in for a future three-piece bathroom. So if you had some bedrooms down here in the basement, you could also put another bathroom in here, have a tub. Um, so that gives you kind of two and a half bathrooms total. Anyways, guys, that's our house for today. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions at all, just let us know. Thanks a lot.